Another thing that my mom says I need to do. Brilliant, beautiful, euphoric. Oh, I'm euphoric. <laughs> Euphoria is a show that I still have not watched because I was going to watch it and then you guys told me some things that made me not want to watch it in the comments and I'm like, I don't know, should I watch it or not? But apparently Storm Reed has a glowing skin guide on Vogue and I love a little glowy skin and I wanna see what she uses. Also, this is a comfy, it is, oh, I spilled coffee on it, darn it. This is literally a sweater that is a bathrobe and am I obsessed? Absolutely. Was I going to dress up and feel pretty and do euphoria makeup? In my head I was, but in reality, f no. I'm staying in the comfy and today we are reacting. Your resident medical esthetician on a day off with a little bit of a nice cozy cozy. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna drink some sippy sippy out of our meow meow mug from a Redwood City farmer's market and we are going to see what this girl uses to get her glowing skin. Hey y'all, it's Storm Reed here. Today I will be taking you guys through my skincare routine and my sometimes makeup no makeup look. The first step is cleanser, of course. I use the Tatcha rice wash. Tatcha! We gotta talk about Tatcha. Specifically because I bought some Tatcha. <laughs> yes. I bought the Tatcha little trial sets to try them for you. Tatcha is a Japanese inspired beauty line that's not actually Japanese beauty, it's American made, and it's very, very expensive. And although they are cruelty free and they have some vegan products, I in the past have not been such a fan of them. I have some issues, specifically based on the efficacy and what I think of the products. And yes, they have Saccharomyces ferment filtrate, great. But like, I feel like the claims are quite overstated. Now, if she likes this cleanser, I'm happy for her, but I will be trying Tatcha to bring you the Tatcha tea to see if it's actually any good and if it's actually worth, you know, the money because it's a pricey brand. Is it beautiful? Absolutely. Does it look great on your countertop? Sure. Did I buy the minis at the Sephora sale? F yeah, I did. But this is what I'm going to be trying and um, it looks like this is what she's using. My skin is, I think, combination but more on the dry side. I like to use a lot of moisturizer. So first I go in with the Dr. Barbara Sturum uh, Hyaluronic Serum. Also, let's just point it out now, my nail is broken. You know, things happen and you just have to go with the flow. <laughs> Two or three drops. I love her attitude towards this. Now, what's interesting is that if she has dry skin, you don't need an essence, you don't need a toner. I feel like if you're super dry and you want to layer up on the products, you could. One of my favorites is from Pyongyang Yule. It's very, very nice. It's just delicious for skin, but you don't need one. Now, she is going in with hyaluronic acid from Dr. Barbara Sturm. Dr. Barbara Sturm is an amazing doctor, creator of the Vampire Facial, brilliant in what she does. But does she create good products? She creates overpriced products. I am going to have to buy and try and test them for you so we can actually get to the bottom of it, but most of her products are grossly overpriced, including this hyaluronic serum. This hyaluronic serum is a whopping $300 on Saks Fifth Avenue. It is ridiculous. And are the ingredients good? Absolutely, but are they worth $300? No! Water, butylene glycol, lactobacillus ferment extract, phenoxyethanol, sodium hyaluronate, ethyl hexoglycerin. What, what? Literally, this is better. Radish ferment filtrate. It is so simple, and I understand that sourcing and formulation matters, but overall, her products are just extremely overpriced, including this one. And another caveat that this brings us into is hyaluronic acid. You know, hyaluronic acid can actually dehydrate the skin. It's a humectant, so it holds onto water, but she just mentioned she's dry, and if there's no moisture in the air, if she lives in a very arid climate, that could actually kind of dry out the skin. Hyaluronic acid also has a very short half-life, meaning that after about six to eight hours, you need to reapply it. Is it great? Yes. Do I love it in some products with water? Absolutely. But always use it with a water-based moisturizer. I'm going to see if she is using a water-based moisturizer. She mentioned she likes a lot of them, but um, overall, <laughs> Not this price, not this brand. If you're looking for hyaluronic acid, the Inky List has a good one. There are some that are mixed in with others from the ordinary that are inexpensive, and you can find hyaluronic acid in like pretty much every moisturizer. Also, Isntree, they have some phenomenal hyaluronic acids that really don't dry out the skin, in my opinion. I am a little bit more on the oily side, but I'm glad if it's working for her. But I would say that if she's still struggling with dryness, even when she uses this routine, we should start doing less of what isn't working and switch it out with more of what is. When I'm on set, my skin tends to get congested and I am prone to breakouts like 
a lot of teenagers out there. So when I am not on set, um, I make sure that my skincare routine is very consistent. I am very liberal with my products just to make sure that I'm like always glowing. I have had to learn over the years that like, a breakout doesn't define you. And yes, they're annoying. And yes, we wish we didn't get them, but uh, they're normal. This is so refreshing to hear from a celebrity of her caliber with the influence that she had. This is amazing. Even as someone who grew up with severe acne, hating myself for what I looked like, judging myself, picking at myself, etc., I've overcome that. I recognize that what I look like does not define me. And even when I do get these breakouts, they don't, you know, tear me down anymore. But I will say, I have those moments where I look in the mirror and I'm like, why is this happening? K skin did this to me. And in a way, I'm always going to be that girl with acne because it always brings me back there. But to hear someone speak up about that and be open about her breakouts and her struggles and her broken nail. I wish that I had a role model or someone like her that I could have looked up to when I was a teenager. She has lots of brain cells. I, she's smart. I like her skincare philosophy, even if so far I don't completely love her skincare routine. So next, I use the Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. Only moisturizer I will use. It is great. It smells great. My mom also told me put moisturizer on your neck. I think your neck ages faster than your face. She's right and her mama's right. And it's not that our neck or our hands age faster. It's just that they're more exposed to the sun and we usually don't put products here. Now the product that she's using is again, this Tatcha Dewy Skin one. Again, I'm trying it. I trash talk this one a lot because it's so expensive and based on the ingredients, I don't see a lot of what's in it. Now I know that Tati loves it. I know that a lot of people love it. Hey, if you love it, if it looks pretty on your countertop, you do you, boo. Is it my favorite? Absolutely no, but am I going to be giving it another try? Yes, I am. She just looks like she's using a lot of expensive products in this routine. When it comes to this dewy skin serum, I also don't love this for dry, dry, dry skin. I feel like there are such better options for dry skin that are much more occlusive and hydrating. This one does say that it's antioxidant packed and it's plumping and hydrating. There are some water gel creams that are much better and that don't cost what is this? 69 doll hairs, 69 doll hairs. They have this Japanese purple rice. I would actually recommend a lot of the Haru Haru products. They also have hyaluronic acid and are really good. Um, this does have Saccharomyces ferment. This has dimethicone, squalane. And again, these are not bad ingredients. They are just so overpriced for what's in here, in my opinion. And we've actually done a video on the best and worst squalane products. I don't know if I've posted it yet, but squalane is fantastic. And so is Camellia sinensis, which we've also done a video about. And um, you can get so many these products or ingredients or products with these ingredients for literally a fraction of the price. So if it makes her happy, then fine. I will be trying it and testing it for you. And again, skincare should be something you enjoy. And if this is the only thing you enjoy, as she says, keep using it. But I don't want young, impressionable 14 year old me, right? To watch these kinds of videos and be like, I need a $70 moisturizer. No, bubble skincare bubble. Pacifica's vegan ceramide line. There are so many skin loving, friendly ingredients that don't have fragrance, you know, that are phenomenal at a fraction of the price. And I just think that, you know, we should be aware of those. My mom has the most gorgeous skin ever and she looks like she's 25. So when she tells me to do something with my skin, I'm listening because I hope I look like her. Well, Genetics. <laughs> and I have two kids that are basically very grown. <laughs> I go in with the Dr. Barbara Sturm uh, glow drops because I like to be glowy. I love a good compliment that's like, oh my God. Your skin looks so good. Oh, you're glowing. We love that for me. We do love that for her, but the glow drop is a no drop for me. Again, because Dr. Barbara Sturm is such an overpriced brand. Sounds like her mom is amazing. I love her skincare philosophy and I understand wanting that glow, but you can get that glow without having to have, you know, a euphoria actress paycheck. These glow drops are $150 of sweet almond oil. Literally, the second ingredient is sweet almond oil. We also have some alkyl benzylate, some glycerin, some lactobacillus, and again, fine, great ingredients. But do you know what? You can get sweet almond oil for like $7 at Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. Holy sh and again, sourcing, formulation, does it matter? Absolutely. Yes, uh, we learned that from K-Skin who looked great in the ingredients list and literally 
propped my face up. But looking at this, I'm just like, I'm, I'm not spending 150 bucks on this. This does also have mica in it. Mica is that glittery pigment. So yes, this is going to make you glow. But if you really want to glow and you're not allergic to gold, there are different gold serums out there. There's one from Carevale. There's one from Tarte Cosmetics with Marula Oil. If you want an oil, with glitter, you have many other options. So steric acid, sodium hyaluronate, again with the hyaluronic acid, caprylic triglyceride. It's just, it's very, very overpriced with a little bit of ascorbic acid, so vitamin C, some tin and titanium oxide, iron oxides. It's basically a glitter oil. It's a glitter oil and it's $145. I'm happy that it makes her happy. I'm happy that it's cruelty free, but the glow glow drops are a no, no drops for me. I am a lyrical genius. My debut album is coming out soon. <laughs> I am always on TikTok. I am always on social media following the, the latest beauty trends and beauty influencers and trying to find new products. But that got me in trouble because I think I was trying so many things that my skin didn't know what to get used to. So I was breaking out. So I kind of have scaled back. I love a self-aware, beautiful, glowing goddess. She is so smart because you know what? I used to do the same thing in aesthetic school in 2009. I destroyed my skin because I tried a new product every freaking day. We had Image, we had Murad, I have the dollar store, I have Target and CVS was like the place to buy skincare back then for me. I fucked up my face so bad. I love, first off, that she's aware of her social media consumption. And I love that she actually enjoys and finds excitement through beauty and new products. I'm actually, she mentioned she's on the Tiki Talkie. I'm gonna go follow her on TikTok right now. <gasps> her eyeliner is so pretty. She is so gorgeous. See, she is glowing and you can still glow without the products, but. Damn. We love a self-aware queen. I also love following the trends, but remember, trends are trendy for a reason. If you add an E to fad, you get fade. And that is what a lot of the trends do. As Dr. Dre so eloquently said it, skincare is healthcare. And I do believe that skincare is also self-care, but yes, the healthcare is part of that self-care. And sometimes self-care isn't fun. Sometimes it's taking your meds. Sometimes it's crying in therapy. Sometimes it's having those difficult conversations or stopping yourself from buying every single product or buying the expensive ones that look pretty in the nice little bottles when you know that the fragrance is going to fuck up your face. Or it's, you know, crying over Winnie Harlow's debacle of a skincare line which happened recently. But I love that she's being honest about it. I love that she's educating herself. I don't know who she watches. Does anybody know who she watches or where she gets her beauty information? Because I feel like a lot of it's overpriced. I'm holding out hope that there'll be a sunscreen, but I've just learned to not set expectations because if I do, then I always get let down. <laughs> I'm now gonna go in with the Super Goop Glow Screen Sunscreen. Another thing that my mom says I need to do. You need sunscreen every day. Brilliant, beautiful, euphoric. Oh, I'm euphoric. The fact that I get so passionate about skincare should scare me. This is phenomenal. And I have actually been wanting to get to my hands on this one. I need to restock on this one. This is such a great sunscreen. And yes, it protects and it makes you look like a glowing goddess. This is one of the best sunscreens. It's $46. It is worth every penny. A little goes a long way. Oh my God, it is phenomenal. I love that she uses this. Her mother is smart with her skincare. God, I wish I had a role model like this growing up. Someone who uses sunscreen, who's aware of their social media consumption, who doesn't think that breakouts define her. I'm just like crying over my lost childhood of comparing myself to all of the Photoshopped girls in Seventeen magazine that I would literally see at the dermatology office when I would go to the dermatologist because my face was breaking out and I was being called the walking infection, you know, and paint over Swiss cheese at school. Oh, I'm so happy, but I'm also a bitter bitch this morning. <laughs> I'm bitter over my childhood. Oh well, we can't change the past, but we can reapply SPF to protect us for the future. During the pandemic, I discovered that I needed to move my body um, just for my mental health. So I'm always trying to like, Go outside, go for a walk, exercise, dance. That keeps me feeling good. It keeps me feeling sane. And that's a part of my wellness routine. Drinking water will do your skin wonders. Water helps internal and external. So fun fact, does water clear your acne? 
No, if it did, then everyone who drank water would not have acne. However, there is something to be said about our body's overall hydration. As a medical esthetician, I can actually look at people's skin and you can actually pinch your skin to see whether or not you're dehydrated, or if you're tenting, then you're severely dehydrated. But when it comes to water, when you think about it, our bodies need and use a ton of water, and our bodies are going to care for our internal organs, make sure that everything is good, you know, good digestion, that kind of stuff first. And the skin also relies heavily on water. Now that doesn't mean soak yourself in a bathtub and get all pruney, but it does mean, you know, try to drink a decent amount of fluids or hydration every day. And in the words of Dr. Howard Murad, don't forget to like eat your water. Think about things like watermelon, fruits, vegetables. Those have very high water content and they are foods that actually nourish our bodies from the inside out with antioxidants and phytonutrients. What we put in our bodies does matter and there's new science backing that up. It's also obvious anecdotally, but a lot of what we put in our bodies is what we get out because we create these building blocks. Now, does that mean that we have to control everything and over hyper analyze it and freak out about it? No, but does it mean that we can add little things here and there or we can try to have water with us or have like a cool flavoring that makes the water more palatable and delicious to drink? Absolutely. Does it mean we can get a very cute little handmade local little friendly kitty cat mug to sip out of with a little thumb holder? Absolutely. You guys asked where I got this. This was a gift. It was a gift from a farmer's market and a um, local creator pottery lady in Redwood City, California. So I, I don't know. I don't know if it can be mass produced. It's beautiful. And if anybody knows exactly who she is, again, this was a gift. It even has like a little pinky hole. I love this mug so much. And um, it makes me want to drink my water and my matcha tea because I feel good while I do it. I feel cute. I feel smitten like a kitten. But if you guys know who she is or if you guys can help me find her, she deserves a million sales of her adorable little handmade local pottery. I love it. I love her. This is one of the best gifts I've ever gotten, including that coffee machine that's also an alarm clock, including this comfy. Ah! But that is a Storm Reads routine. What does it get from me? Okay, if it's just product and we don't look at the overpriceness of it, this is actually a really good routine. It's relatively simple. She's trying to target her concerns and she wears a sunscreen, but with the overpriceness of it. Okay, so the routine itself, ingredient wise, simple, basic, really good. I would give it like an 8.5 out of 10, but with the price, oh, we lower it down to like a four or a five out of 10 because a lot of these things are just overpriced. Do they work? Sure, if she likes them keep using them. But all of the Tatcha and all of the Dr. Barbersterm, so expensive. If you want to do this on a budget, we could do it at a much better price. Price wise, we're looking at like a three or like a four. At least it's not La Mer, okay? But then ingredient wise, we're looking like an 8.5. And um, she's glowing even before all of that. I would definitely recommend a few other things like maybe a ceramide based moisturizer or something with less hyaluronic acid and more water content. I think she could enjoy an essence if she wanted to try the Pyongyang Mule one, but it seems like it's working for her. I hope it is. She looks gorgeous. If she's worried about the pimples, you could put on a pimple patch, but you know what? Acne does not define her, nor does it define you, nor does it define me, which is why I am going to feel great in my coffee stained, comfy little bathrobe robe sweatshirt. And um, we're going to make it a beautiful day. Always remember to reapply that SPF, stay hydrated, and I cannot wait to see you in this other euphoria routine. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.